wouldn't marry me. I give her credit for that. I respect her for it. A poor, homeless refugee. Who knows what she went through? Well, if she confesses, I'll forgive her. Gladly. I only ask her to tell me the truth by herself, and that's all I'm entitled to. Who am I to... Come on. Hello, Mary. Won't you come in? Hello, Mary. Hello, Dean. Dave. Hello, Eddie. Hello, Mary. Well, we have to be going. Will you excuse us? Yeah, we have to see a fellow. You see, this fellow is... Come on, dear. Won't you, uh... Sit down. It was nice of you to come here. Nice of you to insist I come. Uh, well... Before you go any further, there's something I'd better tell you. What? I've changed my mind again. I'll marry you. You will? Unless you've changed your mind. You needn't be ashamed to tell me. No, no. Do you still want to marry me? Yes, certainly. I, I couldn't understand why you changed your mind before, but... But then I imagine you, uh, have your reason. Aren't you going to kiss me? Of course. Don't you feel well? I feel fine. Now... One more thing. I can't accept your offer of marriage until you know something about me that you don't even suspect. I haven't told you the truth about myself. Mary, you don't have to tell me anything. Oh, but I do. But you don't. I want you to come with me to the St. Charles Hotel, please. Can't you tell me here? It would be better if you come to the hotel. Mary, I want you to know you'll never regret this. Come, dear. Mr. O'Rourke, Mr. Holmes, Mr. Washburn. How do you do? How do you do? This is the man I'm going to marry. Any objections? No. I guess this is a surprise to you. No. Mr. O'Rourke, would you care to step into the next room? Gladly. If he makes a move to you, holler. He tells it to him diplomatically. Mr. Washburn is a member of the United States State Department. He'll be diplomatic. I hope he doesn't faint. I just bumped into a small table. 